Charlie Batch. You remember the old Detroit, uh, Detroit Lions quarterback? Yep. Played at Eastern Michigan. He sent out a tweet on January 5th, and he said, uh, Hey, Caleb Williams, like it tagged him on Twitter, said, Have you considered Eastern Michigan? And he said, If not, you should. Game Above Capital is prepared to pay you $1 million for one year. And then he said, are you ready to be an Eagle? And he tagged ESPN, CBS, uh, NBC, Fox Sports, Barstool, et cetera, et cetera. I, I love this. I absolutely love this. Because somebody like Caleb Williams, who is a massive five-star whatever, going from Oklahoma to Eastern Michigan would send shockwaves through the sport. We saw it with Travis Hunter, who was slated, he was committed to go to Florida State, the number one recruit in the country, and then he goes back to Jackson State, right? Uh, if you get Caleb Williams to go to Eastern Michigan, even if you have to pay for him, right, which I think the majority of these places are, I think it kind of changes the game a little bit. Now, I don't know that Caleb Williams by himself could make Eastern Michigan, you know, some dynasty program, uh, whatever. Like, I don't think he could make them a superior program, but I think he could make them a Mac winning team. I think he could absolutely do something along those lines. So this is where the NIL stuff really comes into play. And there's a lot of people that have responded. Uh, uh, CFB Focus jumped in and said, that's not how NIL was intended to be used. Uh, I'll be thrilled when they put regulations on this. These ridiculous offers will have to stop. Uh, I don't I don't have a problem with this. The kid's going to make no, money wherever he goes. this is exactly how NIL is supposed to work. Yes. This is exactly how the hell do you think it's supposed to work. <laughs> Kids are just supposed to pick the school that they want to go to by the love of their school, and then and then we those people can pay them if they want. No, no, you have a service. You have the right to sell your service. Okay, you you bring something of value. You have a free market, an open market, and people who want that service can get it. All right, I appreciate that. Now let's get down to the honest nuts and bolts of this. Nobody in Caleb Williams' situations would take a billion dollars when they know they'll get something from somewhere else. So let's say it's not even that. Let's say it's 250 k okay? So you're turning down $750,000, all right, to go play somewhere else. But okay. he's thinking of the NFL. And he said when he talked about leaving Oklahoma and entering the transfer portal, I am going to find a school that has – the opportunity to prepare me for the NFL, okay? And if they're not doing that at Eastern Michigan, then he ain't picking you because you're offering a lot of money because somebody else is going to offer some money and it's still going to be a lot. And I'll tell you this, there's a chance he gets a million-dollar offer from a lot of other places too. But that, that let's say he doesn't get a million. Do you, do you forego the right to be prepared learn under somebody who is known for putting people in the NFL for a quick million bucks. I wouldn't, personally. I, well, I wouldn't either. And the reason is, is because, A, somebody else is going to get you money, too. They might not get you to a million, but people have gotten a million, so I don't know that they can't get you to a million. But, exactly. but even then, it doesn't matter. You know, They'll get you something. Oh, yes. No, 100%. Uh, game Above Capital, by the way, uh, it says, uh, you go to the website, Impact Fund for Environmental and Sustainability Solutions. It says, a $50 million impact fund. Our mission is to be a resource of capital for well-established companies working vigorously to preserve our natural resources and bring forth innovative solutions in sustainability. I don't know what Caleb Williams would have anything to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can advertise for anything. I mean, what what does DJ Uangalele have to do with um with with Dr Pepper? Like nothing. He's just a kid. Yeah. Okay. And Dr Pepper is just a brand, and you're you're now a spokesperson for this brand. Okay. The only, the only thing I would, and, and really, it's a free market, so you can do whatever the hell you want. All right. Oh yeah. The only thing I would caution these kids about is think about the companies that you're going to take money for and have to be a spokesperson for and tout for. Okay. Like, I'm now almost a 40-year-old man, and the things that bother me in this world are very different than the things that would have bothered me when I was younger, okay? Like, I thought nothing about wars or anything like that, but today I do, all right? And I'm, and I'm pretty 
pretty substantially anti-war. And so if a company like Raytheon, like I wouldn't even, I would tell you this, I would openly sit out of my bowl game if, 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 if the only bowl game we got was the Lockheed Martin bowl game. Okay. I, I, I would do that. I would do that. And I would make it abundantly clear out of protest. I don't think Lockheed Martin's a good company. I think all they do is make bombs and destroy people. And I just want these kids to say, a lot of people are going to offer you a lot of money. All right. Think about what these people do. Okay. Like, and it's just a moral thing. And if you don't have those morals and you don't have those views, then take whatever money you want. I don't give a damn. I would just say, I would give thought to it at first, you know, because, because there's going to be a lot of people to offer you a lot of money. I mean, that's obviously seem to be good dudes and, and seem to be doing well. But I mean, if you do some research on it and figure out they're like some big shell company for a bunch of oil tycoons, then, you know, you might want to say, Hey, I don't want to take that million bucks, you know, <laughs> because it's not like somebody else's. This is the problem. We see the million dollars. And if let's say he picks a different school, everyone's going to be like, Oh, he turned down a million bucks. Did he? Did he? Because we don't know what the other school is coming up with to pay him. Because they haven't, they haven't publicly put it out. Exactly. It's uh, everybody talks about. Uh, let's go back to Cam Newton, right? Now that's not exactly above board nil kind of stuff, but uh, they're saying that Cam Newton turned down what one hundred and eighty thousand dollars. One hundred eighty million. One hundred eight. Sorry, yeah. One hundred eighty thousand dollars from Mississippi State. That was that was a definitive number that we have proof that he walked away from. Okay. Yes. So when people say he got paid two hundred sixty thousand from Auburn. I completely understand that because he didn't turn the 180 down for nothing. <laughs> yes, you're 100 percent right. 100 percent right. Ay yeah yeah. All right. So Caleb Williams. Of course, there's been all this stuff going on. Uh, Jack Mack from uh, Unnecessary Roughness, which is Barstool's college football podcast. Uh, he has been all over this on Instagram. Apparently, Caleb Williams is dating a girl that goes to school at North Carolina. And he's popped up in her Instagram stories and whatnot lately. So it, who knows? If he ends up in North Carolina, you know that there was a connection there. Uh, who knows where he's going to go at this point? Uh, every- I, I'm going to tell you, he's going to end up somewhere with a great offensive minded coach, whether that be the head coach or the OC, that historically has put guys in the NFL. Just trust me on that, okay? That's that's my opinion. All right, I think he's going to end up somewhere where a quarterback coach of some sort has history of putting guys in the league because that's his big time goal. Do you okay? think uh, I don't know that winning the national championship matters at the end of the day if you can't yeah. get to the next level. All right, so so basically I don't know that North Carolina would fit that bill. Like that's still long ago in Matt Brown. Not, yeah. Now, now now Sam is gonna get drafted. And I think Sam's actually gonna be a pretty decent NFL quarterback. I like him. I, I, I think he's good. I think they had a lot of flaws at North Carolina. And, oh, yeah. and I think this guy is a little bit of a gamer. Now, he, he came up real small on a couple of big opportunities that disappointed me. He's definitely not my first choice, and there's several guys I take above him. But, but if he goes to a good situation, that, it's not that they, they are not going to put somebody in the league. The problem is, is Caleb's not going to have the luxury of seeing where they put somebody in the league before he has to make this pick. Yeah, yeah. No, I think you're right. I think you're right. Uh, my my best guess for Caleb Williams, just to go in and get this out there again. I said it the other day. Uh, no, guys, USC. Everyone, that, USC. Okay, yeah, go play for the go play for the coach that originally recruited him, and he played for Oregon. That's uh, that's fine. That 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 that's not fun at all. That's literally saying <laughs> I pick Alabama to win the national championship before the season started. Like nobody wants to hear you say that. All right. Like, yeah. Well, that's my official pick, and they won it. Okay, yeah, but that's the most boring thing in the world. So let's just not give an opinion if that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, has Heupel gotten anybody into the NFL? Or Kiffin at this uh, point? I'd have to go back and see who all Heupel's quarterbacks were over the years. Uh, I don't know who he had under him at Oklahoma, and I don't remember all his guys at uh, at uh, USC, UCF other than um, Mc, uh, Milton. Yeah, Mackenzie Milton and uh and Dylan Gabriel were there. That's uh eh, that's interesting. Interesting. I mean he's been coaching for a long time. I'm sure somebody from Oklahoma got into the NFL. I yeah. just don't remember the years that he was there because Oklahoma's put a shit ton of quarterbacks in the NFL. 
I don't remember the years that he was there and when that mattered. Right, like, and then of course I, I, I'd have he to was go back and look. He was fired from Oklahoma, so uh, who knows what to well, take from that? I don't. I mean, if he still put quarterbacks in the NFL, you can fire a guy. That's fine. Yeah, no, you're uh, you're not wrong about that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.